Chapman? You got any matches? What? Matches. You got them? No. Let me know if you're seeing you, right? That yours? Staff Sergeant Hayes. Sullivan Hayes? Sully. How did it come to be in your possession? That, that's if you don't mind me asking. Well, I do mind you asking. Sorry, Clyde. right in the mouth of the beach. 400 yards to the sea wall. No communication. No company. And I can hear my name being called through the roar. And when I look back, the smoke reverted back to the sea, opening like this fucking stage curtain. And I see Sully. Screaming his... Goddamn lungs up and the rest of him in pieces. Later, he gets one drilled right through his forehead, and I'm forced to witness the remaining seconds of a good friend's life. If I'd had enough strength to stand, and enough courage, I could have saved him. You know? No. I read this poem in a newspaper back in England. I don't want to hear a fucking poem, Brooks. Give it a chance. Help me. He who loves the greater love shall give his life for the heavens above. For those with me in the fields of battle, for those back home still taming the cattle. Corporal? Yes, sir. That ease, boy. That doesn't matter much around here. What are you scribbling, lad? Go on. Do tell. A short piece of rhythmic literacy, sir. A, a poem for my family back home, sir. No one gets those letters, Middleton. By the time they reach the coast, they've all been used as toilet paper and handkerchiefs. It's just my mother hasn't heard from me in a while, sir, and I wanted to send her some words of good hope. Sir. Better add, Middleton. It could be full of holes tomorrow. If we don't have hope, damn it, then what do we have? Calm it right down. Right now. That's an order. We all have mothers back home, worried sick. Come on, George, don't be shy. You share the name of our king. Let's hear some of this spirit. Our friend paid good money for a front row seat. What's the matter, Middleton? You got stage fright. Better hurry. Your crowd's getting restless. Fick dich, du English Schweinehund. Don't you push your fucking luck! 
When these boots hit German soil, I ain't taking any prisoners. Put that weapon down, Sergeant! The greater love will give his life to the heavens above. For those with me in the, in the field of battle, and for those back home still taming the cattle, the disgrace of war has scarred us all. We just want to help to answer the call. With the king's colours raised and the sacrifices made, we fight to the end before the colours can fade. I promised myself I wouldn't type another poem about war, about death. But this one was different. Hell isn't easily transposed into lyrics. Every anonymous poem I receive has been scruffily noted on a piece of paper, written by a loose grip in the cold. You are right, Eve? Thought I heard you talking to someone in here. Are you ever going to take a break? Been slaving over that typewriter for days, you have. Every mother needs to read these words, Pip. Yesterday morning, when I read this poem, I saw a glimmer of hope for the first time since Sullivan left. Just can't imagine Mr. Edwards is going to print it. I'm sure it's a lovely poem, but I just don't think it's what the people want to read right now. I don't understand all these theatrics of war. It's a sore matter to bring to mind. Don't you think I know this, Pippa? Oh, I'm sorry, Evelyn. I didn't mean to upset you. I it's my opinion, that's all. <laughs> These words captivated me, Pip. They calm the pain that clouds my mind. You sat here, feeling helpless. Guilty of not doing enough. You shouldn't feel guilty over something you can't change. Besides, it's not good for you or that little bun in the oven you work in this late. <laughs> this little fella will soldier on. Well, Edwards won't pay you for staying, I'll tell you that for free. I don't need paying for this, Pippa. What if Sully isn't to return home? It's a way defending our shores, defending our very way of life. You know, sometimes I feel as if every man I ever encountered is in peril. We're just sat here waiting for the news. I want to do my part, Pip. I want to raise a smile. A smile I wish someone could raise on me. You keep praying and Sully will return safe and sound, I promise. You've done your part, Evelyn. Now you've got to concentrate on the little piece of him that is home. Anyway, I came to say that I am done for the day. You take care of yourselves, all right? Don't worry about Edwards. I'm sure he will love your article. <laughs> Good night, Pip. He who dies for the greater love gave his life for the heavens above. He will live on forever. And spirit. Hearts and spirit. Rest in peace. Your glory we inherit. I want all the boys to hear this cry. Maybe we can help them too. Do you know what his last fall would have been? If I die today. I die saving the ones I love. The ones we love. It's a heroic death, Clyde. Now, 
I don't know about you, but I know I could rest well with that. Glory we inherit.